What's going on guys? So it's about 20 past 8 in the morning and um, at the last vlog at the beginning I told you that I had something very special coming up that would be in the next, I would be signing off the blog, whatever you want to call it and what it is, the reason I'm slightly well, well dressed today <laughs> is um, I have been given a press pass along with Sam again to go to the National League final against Dublin at Crow Park which <laughs> which for any journalist is like mad for you know we got this game but it's going to be amazing um so i'm going to finish off getting ready and i will see you before i run down the line and hopefully i'll make this epic today so till then So we got to the game, uh, currently watching the opener between Kildare and Galway. It is seven points Kildare, nine points Galway. Second half after kicking off. Um, must admit these are kind of fairly fancy to actually get. Uh, looking forward to the big game of four though. And hopefully, not being biased, but hopefully Kerry will pick off the victory. But conditions are fairly favourable today for both sides, not just Kerry. Dublin have the home advantage, but Never, never right off either team, but we'll see what happens anyway. Anisha Karja, or on the VM, or Hasta Doi, I want to kill it, or die. So, half time in Crow Park, uh, Kerry 9 points, Dublin 10. 
Entertaining first half, both teams have, been, have had a man taken off to the black card. Uh, Dimmer Connolly for Dublin off the, off the ball incident. And Ronan Shannon, no, uh, Jonathan Lyon for Kerry. So, overall, entertaining first half. Both teams really giving their all for it. It's, it's championship pace in Crow Park. It doesn't feel like a league final today. It feels like an, a, an actual championship game. Of course, you can probably hear the Artane band below me. It was, Give me a bit of music while I, you know, royalty free music for the vlog, but like, you know, whatever about it. Entertaining game, both sides going at it. I don't see a clear winner yet, I don't, so I don't know what, what to expect coming in the second half, but only time will tell really what's going to happen, but right now it's looking like Dublin, Dublin to edge just by saying by a couple of points, but saying that, we don't know what to expect. Photo bomb. Photo bomb. Yep. That was a very good tweet. <laughs> wow. wow. So the game is over and Kerry picked up, I mean, they won the Allianz League, came down to the final kick of the game, a missed free from Dean Rock, ensuring that Kerry would win. Utter fantastic game. Heart, heart in your sleeve for the last few minutes here in Crow Park. Um, yeah, I'll make sure to put all the interviews when I finish the vlog, when I hit home. But it's been an absolute fantastic game. and oh, it's, I really can't put it into words how amazing it has been to be here today and to see your home county pick up a win in Crow Park and to be at your rivals is just something else and <laughs> I just can't describe it so I'm going to leave it here until I head home and I'm going to put up the post-match analysis from both Jim Gavin and Ian Fitzmaurice so until then, peace So, finally got home it's like what, half, half eleven? It's been a really long day, but up for a long time. Quite tired, and I'm just ready for bed right now. But before I do that, I suppose I need to finish off the the vlog. And you would have last saw me in Crow Park. And I said I was going to finish it up with the managers and their press conferences. So for the start of it, anyway, I suppose we'll listen to the losing manager Jim Gavin because he was first, and he was there was a he was a lot to say. Like he's very poignant in his defeat so we're just going to listen to that now yeah disappointed that performance um too many i suppose unforced errors give the ball away too much certainly had a, had enough of it um i think the first the, the, the third quarter of the game uh he kicked an awful lot of the ball away um but all credit to Kerry. i mean their their um execution get their shot uh so after that, you would have heard him there, and after that, then was Aim Fitzmaurice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to Aim Fitzmaurice next. It's great, of course, to win the league. Um, you know, every year we set off at the start of the year, there's three big competitions that we're playing in the, the league, the Munster Championship, and the All Ireland, and, you know, it would be third in our list. Um, it was a very fun game to go to. Like, we're not established media, but to be fair, it was a, a league final in Crow Park, if you get me. Which was something a lot of people get, and a lot of people would dream of to get press at Crow Park at our age, like really young, just getting into the the industry and stuff. But yeah, I really like it. I hope people have been enjoy enjoying the vlogs and blogs and whatever I've posted on the website, podcasts and all this. But um, yeah, it was a very interesting game. Kerry pulled through in the end. Uh, I'll be able to I'll be right up the match reporting and my thoughts on the game and everything pretty soon. But because I'm tired, I'm going to have to leave it there. But uh, until then, like I said the last time, I guess, peace.